Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makabadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days, all right? This is the brother Yakanan from the GMS England branch. And this is gonna be an in transit edition video, as you can see here on the screen. And, um, you know, Lord willing, it be edifying unto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and also learning, all right? And, um, you know, it's a beautiful time right now, all right? It's a very beautiful time, a very prophetic time, and also, you know, a very dangerous time, you know? Because as it tells us in the book of um, Ephesians, uh, chapter 5 and uh, verse 15, you know, the scriptures tell us to be circumspect, all right? And when you go into that word circumspect, you know, meaning to look around, you know, be aware of your surroundings, be aware of what's happening, you know, upon the earth, because we are watchmen, okay? And we survey the times, we survey, you know, the political affairs, you know, of the world, we supply, we, we um, survey the economic, you know, system, all right? Because that's gonna be linked, you know, to the MOTB, all right, the mark, Okay, and they're, you know, they're steady pushing, you know, this cashier society. So we gotta be circumspect, we gotta look around, all right? And it also says, you know, redeeming, you know, the time because the days are evil, all right? Roughly paraphrasing, we're, we're living in some very evil times, some very dark times also. Even though it's a beautiful time, all right? Because prophecies are getting ready to, you know, come to pass. And, you know, biblically, you know, things are moving forward, but it also is a sign that, you know, things are going to get more darker. Things are going to get more harder. Things are going to get more challenging the closer that we draw near to, um, you know, Yahweh Shai's appearing, man. All right, so we also got to mentally, you know, spiritually prepare for these things. Okay, we got to prepare for these changes that are going to manifest upon the earth, man. Because they're not going to be lightweight changes. These are going to be heavy weight changes upon the earth. That's going to change the way you live. Okay? It's going to change the way you live. You know, it's going to change the way you treat each other. <laughs> you know, like that, that puck song changes. It's changed the way we live. It's changed, you know. That's what it made me think of when I said that. But, you know, the scriptures say, you know, the heart of many shall wax cold. So people are going to start, you know, changing. Okay? People are going to change the way that they treat each other, all right? People are going to become more sinister. When you go into the NLT, in that scripture in Matthew 24, it says sin will be rampant upon the earth. And we can see that, all right? We can see that happening. We can see that, you know, there's certain places on earth, for example, you have Haiti, all right? Haiti is upside down, you know, and it's been like that for a hot minute. You got all kind of, you know, manner of things happening, you know, in Haiti, you know, amongst, you know, Levi, okay? You got all manner of wickedness, you know, sin, you know, um, you know, fighting, you know, killing, you know, happening over there. All right. And I just seen a video, you know, that was um, uploaded. I'm not sure who uploaded it. You know, one one of the brothers from Great Millstone, you know, uploaded it. And I can't remember his channel name, but Elder Yashawamba shared the video. And it was basically showing how you have um, IUIC over there in Haiti interviewing you know this dude barbecue man you know and if you, you've been following the news you would know who that is but that just shows you that you know there's certain agendas there's certain intents out here that are getting ready to get played out upon the earth man okay and heavy demonization is coming okay all things are going to come to light you know those that have took that bag those that have sold out all right you're going to be exposed okay you're going to be exposed through the spirit and power of your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Because even you, you know, even you sellouts out there, all right, you're playing your part. You know, the Lord has put that spirit on you to do so. 
Okay, just like you had uh, Judas, he didn't have a choice. All right, he didn't have a choice in what he did when it came to betraying, you know, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, he was allotted in the spirit to do that. So he had to fulfill that role. And it's the same with you wicked Israelites in these latter days, man. You're going to have to play the same role that has been allotted to you. Okay? It's like the scripture says, you know, the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. Well, the spirit of the false prophets, false teachers, you know, is subject to the false uh, prophets and false teachers, man. Everyone is going to come back in their lot doing what they were doing, you know, in their past lot. Okay? And that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So a lot of changes are getting ready to happen on the earth. Things are about to get real dark. Things are about to get real draconian. Okay? Now they, you know, they're trying to push, you know, particular laws, especially out here in the UK. I spoke on this last week where they're trying to um restrict, you know, the truth. All right? They're trying to take away the ability for you to go out there, for us to go out there on the highways and the byways and preach this word. All right, because all of these changes, you know, concerning freedom of speech and inflammatory speech, so on and so forth, we understand who that's aimed at, man. All right? Because the only individuals, all right, on earth that's really bringing out the truth that really matters, all right, concerning, you know, the truth of the Holy Bible is the prophets of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So that's the information that they want to get rid of. That's the information that they want to make sure that people don't hear. But it's too late. And as the scriptures say, you can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Okay? So, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to disappoint the devices of the crafty. Alright? The devices of the wicked, man. Everything they do is only going to further promote, further expose this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Alright? Throughout the four corners of the globe, man. Alright? And they can't stop it because the internet has already done the heavy lifting. All right, like our apostles, you know, always, you know, um, um, you know, make that point that the, the the internet done the heavy lifting, man. Okay, so it's too late. If you pull the plug now on the internet, hey, the, the, the job has already been done. All right, as it tells us in uh, Matthew, you know, twenty four, and what's that, uh, verse fourteen? You know, this, you know, this gospel shall be preached throughout all the world, and then the end shall come. That's why we're witnessing the end right now because the gospel has already been preached throughout the four corners of the globe. So now commences the end of this wicked, sinful, and degenerate kingdom. Okay? That's why we're witnessing the end because the word has gone out. If the word didn't go out, then we wouldn't be witnessing the end, man. So that shows you what time we're in. That shows you that we're in the time of the end. That shows you that, you know, these things are about to, you know, it's, 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 it's a wrap for Esau's kingdom, man. All right? It's a total wrap for Esau's kingdom. Okay? We ain't got much left in, in this wicked kingdom, man. So we can rejoice in that. All right? We can definitely rejoice in that, man. And that's why I said at the beginning of the video that really, you know, it's a beautiful time that we're living in. All right? Because when you understand that, you know, these prophecies are coming to pass and things are moving forward, hey, man, you be rejoicing in the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because that's all we do is hasten the Lord's coming. Every time we do a video, you know, we're hastening the coming of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We go to camp, we're hastening the coming of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, we're in we're in that mode. That's the spirit that is on us, man. Those that are waiting for our Lord, those that are waiting for that appearing. But you have some individuals; they're not waiting for the Lord to appear, man. They're trying to stay in this wicked um, um, system. All right, they're trying to have you know Esau be the permanent ruler. Okay, a lot of guys, a lot of guys out there, don't really believe that Yahweh Shai is coming back. Okay, a lot of guys don't believe Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. But he is coming back, and he's coming back speedily. He's even at the door. Okay, and if you was in the spirit, you know you would know that, man. But that's why Jake be carrying on the way they carry on because they don't really believe the Lord is going to come back. All right. And the scriptures say, you know, woe to those that have lost patience. A lot of individuals have also lost patience. All right, they're tired. They're tired of waiting on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're tired of suffering. Okay, they don't want to fight the good fight of faith no more, man. They don't want to finish their course. They just want to live it up in the world. All right, just in case, you know, just in case it doesn't happen in their lifetime, in their generation. They want to heap up as much as you know this demonic circus as possible. Well, that's not the mind state to have, man. 
all right? That is not the mind state to have. Because with that mind state, you know, you're going to get taken out. There's no gray area with your Harabar Shimmy or Shai. It's either you all in or you all out. You know, you can't sit on the fence. You can't just be on the, in the middle. You got to be all in or all out, man. You can't be 50 50. All right? The scriptures speak about, you know, devoting your whole mind, you know, body and your spirit to your Harabar Shimmy or Shai. Okay? So that's what it, that's what it is, you know, when you when you're involved in the ministry, man. Oh, there's also another scripture that says um to hate not laborous work. Okay? So this is a job, you know, it is a job that we have. You know, it's a it's a high calling, you know, job occupation that we have in being involved in this ministry, man. Okay? It's not light work. This is heavy work, man. All right? So that's why I'm, I'm going to cut it off, you know, for now. You know, um, I pretty much said everything that was on my mind. You know, Lord willing, this uh, lesson was edifying. And of course, until the next time, I'll say Shalom.